In and Out Burger is one of the most Californian places to eat on the West Coast. It's not your regular fast food joint because everything's cooked fresh to order. But lots of Brits who come out here aren't that impressed. However, come with me and I'll show you what I think they're doing wrong. In and Out Burger launched in 1948. Harry Snyder opened his first burger stand at Baldwin Park in East LA. His iconic speaker boxes epitomized the diner culture of the 1950s. They were the original drive through and only introduced their first dine-in restaurant in 1979. Until the late 90s, you could only find In-N-Out in California. Even today, it's only in seven states, so it's still a novelty for most Americans. On top of that, the price of a burger starts at just $3. My first bite of In-N-Out in two years. Here we go. Really, really good. Is it as good as you remember, guys? Yes. Better than I remember. Tastes like home. It's got a cult following and is the only fast food joint that Gordon Ramsay and Anthony Bourdain approve of. I love In N Out Burger, honestly. My favorite restaurant in Los Angeles. So, why aren't some visitors blown away by this Golden State staple? Well, if I'm ordering here for the first time without speaking to anyone, I'm going to look at the menu and order a cheeseburger or maybe splash out and get a double-double with some fries, of course. And this is what you get. Clean and fresh fries. It tastes good, but something that some people might not be that impressed with, okay? Let's have a look at the burger. <laughs> so the burger's nice, it's juicy. Good tomato, not limp. Got some good quality lettuce. The burger tastes nice as well. It's a nice burger, it's a nice burger. But would it blow people away? Would it take me away from a guacamole burger and bacon burger, that kind of thing, those speciality gourmet burgers? Probably not. So why is In-N-Out so special? Well, it's all in the secret menu. Yep, it's not on any boards or menu cards. In the old days it was word of mouth, but now we have the internet. Officially, In-N-Out doesn't have a secret menu. They say they're just happy to customize their food as it's made to order, and these are just the most popular customer choices. How on earth someone happened to utter the words animal style to a member of staff the first time is beyond me, but they deserve a medal. I'm about to show you the secret menu, which means your phone or laptop may self-destruct after watching it. First up, you can customize your burger patty. Double meat and double cheese is called a double-double. You can also order a triple-triple or a quad-quad. You can't go crazy and order a hundred hundred anymore, so don't bother. Next, add some flavour to your patty by asking for mustard grill. This means they'll squirt some mustard onto your burger at the flip, so it sizzles into your meat. How about no meat? Ask for a grilled cheese for a simple fromage-filled bun. Customise your fillings so you get what you want. Or ask for a wish burger, which is for vegetarians who wish they could have the meat, but you get everything else as normal. No bun? No problem. Ask for protein style to get your favourite burger wrapped in lettuce. Oh, you want meat sweats? Well, order a Flying Dutchman, which is just meat and cheese. Finally, my favourite. This is animal style. It gets you pickles, an extra dollop of secret sauce, a mustard grilled patty, and also fried onions. Ask for animal style fries. You get the sauce, the onions, a big dollop of cheese, loaded fries that taste amazing. 
it will convert anyone. You can even ask them to cut them in half, which is great for sharing or for little ones. Thank you. It's not just your burgers which you can customize. Sorry, uh, use the secret menu. Don't like your fries? You can get them crispier by asking for them to be well done. Or get them to be more limp by requesting light. Don't forget to ask for a hat for the kiddos. Another top tip for you. Sammy takeover tip. Always get the pink lemonade here. It's really good. You can customise your drinks too. Some people have asked for 75% Diet Coke and 25% full. They'll do it for you. Oh, vanilla! No, chocolate's better. Vanilla, chocolate. Vanilla, I really want chocolate though. Vanilla's better. Why not just get 50-50 and everybody's happy? Or Neapolitan and Mommy's happy too. Dylan, where'd yours go? In my belly. <laughs> Not very many places can you feed a family of five for around thirty dollars. Bargain. I'm now starting to think that it's less about the secret menu and more about how they're the kings of customization. Just don't be English when you order, okay? Let us know if you've got any other secret menu tips for us. And for more California inspiration, pick a video.